Jeff, in the previous video, we talked about importance of networking for newcomers or whoever is new in the country when searching for jobs. And I don't want, I, I just want to ask you in that sense, what tips do you have for people in terms of networking? And especially if newcomers are not used to networking in their country. Mm, yeah, that's, I mean, it's a great, it's a great point. I think that, you know, there, there are people um, that like, like networking. There are people that uh, don't like networking, but they do it. And then there are people that don't like networking and they don't do it. <laughs> so I think the hardest one is the second one. The hardest one is to be someone that doesn't really like networking, but you kind of need to do it if you're, if you're going to go find uh, work and make connections. So I think the, the biggest thing is try to figure out, like, is this something you like doing or not? And if you don't like doing it, what is, what's going to be the most comfortable for you? What, what is going to allow you, you know, are you someone that likes going into an event and meeting a whole bunch of people just a little bit, or would you rather have, you know, three deep conversations and that's going to be something that's more you. So I say the first thing is like, understand, do you like it or not? And if you don't, how could you do it in a way where you at least make some contacts? Um, and then, yeah, maybe you have some deeper conversations, but I think I, I believe that most people in Vancouver, and I, I'd like to your you know maybe you got your experience here too. Like my my story about this is that I, I do think people like helping. Um, I think sometimes people feel like uh, they might be a burden or whatever. And yeah, there's only so many things that people can do. But I do believe that most people are helpful. So if you frame up something in a way where you're like, right, this is what I'm looking for, and this is the specific help you can provide, and it isn't like a huge amount. I think you can also reach out to people directly as well and ask for their help. And, and I think that, I, I, I don't know, my, my guess is that most times people would get it, but I don't know what your experience was. I can say usually when I go to any networking event, I always have in my mind the intention of to meet three people at least and have those deep conversation. And usually it's more about like, what's your intention of coming to this event? What do you want to get through? And just have a conversation and build relationship. And then follow up on LinkedIn if you want me to a coffee or something like that. But I always say that don't go to a networking event with the mindset that I need to ask for a job. Because right. uh, I feel that that's not, it's not a good way to start a relationship. Just, you know, in general, introduce yourself and have a, build a relationship. Especially in Vancouver, it's all about building relationship. And who you know in the market, that's what you, 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 it will help you find the job. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Uh, again, thank you, Jeff, for those tips. And again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, please like it in the comment section, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in next time for another question with Jeff.